lot of questions about this topic. Tattoo ink. Um, is it okay to get a tattoo? Is there any toxicity? So I just wanted to create a short video to tell you my viewpoint on it. Couple drawbacks. Number one, it's not regulated by the FDA. So what is a tattoo? Well, they're injecting certain pigments into your skin. Uh, the second layer called the dermis, which is about one half of a millimeter. So it's very shallow, it's not very deep, uh, but of course you don't want to go deeper than that. Also, you can't donate blood if you've gotten a tattoo within a year. Another point is that you want to make sure that if you go get a tattoo, they do autoclave sterilization because you want to make sure that the instruments they use are completely sterilized. I mean, there is a small risk of infection and there's also a risk of having an allergy to the pigment. And there are certain uh, pigments that are a bit toxic that have the capacity to spread to your lymph nodes. And uh, some of the ingredients, which I'm gonna cover in a, in a second, can be carcinogenic. So I wanna make you aware of that. And there really is no um, systematic uh, safety studies on tattoos. So if you're gonna get a tattoo, I would just highly suggest that you make sure that the ink that they expose you to is non-toxic. Here are some of the chemicals and things in the tattoo ink. Uh, number one, uh, there could be heavy metals like mercury, lead, cadmium, aluminum. Not good to expose your body to that. There could be acrylics, which is a certain chemical, certain solvents, plastics, chemicals like BPA. Now all of these are classified as a carcinogen. So why would you want to expose your body to these um, things that could potentially cause cancer? And the other thing is that manufacturers don't have to reveal their ingredients if it is a proprietary blend. Basically make sure that it's organic, free of acrylics, uh, free of something called PET, plastics, solvents, and heavy metals and iron oxide. The last point, if you already had tattoos, I think the best thing to do is to make sure that you are um, eating very healthily. Make sure that your immune system is really strong uh, because your immune system has a very unique function of not only fighting pathogens, but also preventing and killing cancer cells. All right, thanks for watching.